Well, hello, uh, this is Brian Gordon. I'm here with Mark Dykes from UF Health uh, Organization to discuss their use of Corzan CPVC Schedule 80 in their facilities. And Mark, if you wouldn't mind, if we could start, maybe you give me um, some background on yourself and what you do there at the health facility. I have been at Shands at UF Health now for 33 years. I currently serve as the project manager. I manage about a $15 million utility budget. Since I've been at Shands, uh, UF Health, I um, have been actively engaged in over a billion dollars in new facilities, new patient towers, uh, renovations to existing facilities, uh, major modifications. A lot of piping is associated with all this work. So right now you're, um, you're in the middle of uh, an expansion. Um, fairly significant expansion. Could you, t could you tell me a little bit about that? When you're one of the top university hospitals uh, in the country, you, you draw from everywhere in the country. We're currently at uh, approximately 850 beds. We stay 90% occupied nearly 100% of the time. Wow. So that, that drives the need for more beds, more space, spreading our wings. It allows us to broaden that platform to provide the world-class health care that UF Health does so well. Tell me a little bit why this plastic pipe versus kind of what the norm has been for you know decades and decades which is like say copper or, or another kind of metal. Why go with this this Corzan CPVC instead of say copper? I think most of us will agree uh, plastic's gonna play a big part of the future especially in the industry that we're involved with. I need to take you back a few years. Uh, we began to experience failures, all cast iron. We looked at using PVC for the life expectancy. We've had a lot of experience with, with, with PVC elsewhere. We vetted out some of the various issues with it, and we decided to move forward and have achieved major success with PVC in our drain waste and vent. And we've actually uh, made Schedule ADC PVC our spec. And that's what, we're be, that's what we're using primarily right now in our hot and cold water. And this isn't just on this expansion, but you've been using the Corzan CPVC Schedule 80 for a while now. Yes, we actually opened up a, a sister, a 500,000 square foot, 200 bed facility in 2009. That was our first uh, uh, Corzan installed uh, building. We've now been in business now there for what, six or seven years with uh, no issues. And we continue to uh, look for other opportunities uh, where CPBC may be the right fit for us. Uh, fortunately, we don't have to go with the lower uh, cost option. We feel the thicker walled Schedule 80 basically gives us a much more robust installation, gives us a safety fact factor second to none. And again, I think best practices would suggest it because of the, the critical environment such as, uh, such as we live in there at Shands UF Health. And I think best practices would suggest that it's the right thing to do. I mean, in, in some of the sizes, the wall thickness is twice as thick as some of the other ones. We also feel, I mean, obviously the, the life expectancy because of the thicker wall. So for the most part, you have used this uh, Schedule 80 CPVC Corzan for uh, potable water, hot and cold water. Um, are you using it anywhere else or are you thinking about using it anywhere else? We recently have had a black iron uh, steel pipe that's serving uh, most of our chill water to the hospital fail. It reached its end of, end of life. We all know about steel pipe. It's going to one day fail due to degradation. We are choosing uh, the, the Corzan Schedule 80. We're actually going to replace it with uh, the uh, thicker walled piping, CPVC. And it's our first step in uh, using it, utilizing it for another option other than just domestic cold water. We feel comfortable with it. We're looking forward to uh, the ease of installation. We have all these permits that you have to do. You have to have extra people on site. You know, pretty much with uh, socket well piping, uh, there's no concerns for that and we avoid all this. Well, uh, actually, I'm, yeah, th that, that's where I was going to go next. So, yes. So you've got contractors, uh, obviously, I'm guessing teams of contractors working at, you know, your facilities. So how does insulation on the CPVC go 
compared to, again, like a, maybe a cup or a stainless or something like that? Is you know, the lightweight handling characteristics of it, uh, being able to uh, speed up the installation proce process, and uh, for them not to have to, to go through all of the, uh, the special procedures for the hot work permit, the welding, the brazing issues, uh, they're thrilled. Some of the, some of the, joining some of this pipe, like welding stainless steel, that's not, that's not a skill everyone has. That's kind of, that's a not inexpensive labor. And stainless steel is, is one of the options. Um, but are you going to train all of your personnel to weld stainless steel should you have a leak or you want to do some future modifications? Uh, George Fisher has done really well with, with training, providing training at, uh, you know, at every request. They realize the importance of, um, of, of uh, perfect installation and that uh, installation can prove to take us years into the future. Awesome, okay. Well, uh, before we finish up here, anything else you wanna say about using Corzan CPVC? You're not gonna have the fittings available for, for uh, special installations such as sinks and, and urinals and flush valves. Uh, George Fisher has engaged us and uh, is pursuing the production of some more installer friendly fittings uh, to make it easier for us as a facility down the road to uh, be able to make modifications and renovations um, similar to what we would do with uh, typical PVC or copper. Yeah, the product is still evolving. Well, Mark, I really appreciate your time. I appreciate and it. And coming Thanks out here to me. spend some time with us. Excellent. And I look forward to working with you in the future. Excellent.